check it. When I was living in North Carolina back in 97, right? I did it as one shorty, all right? Neither I nor she had a whip, all right? So she would take the public transportation bus over to my house and it would take about an hour to an hour and a half between the time elapsed for the trip as well as her waiting time for the next bus to come on the route that she lives, that the, uh, that was the only route she lived nearby. So mind you, by the time she got, she came over, I prepared dinner for her, right? So when she came over, she's like, yo, what's good, E? How you doing? Smooches, smooches. I right, closed the door. Of course, she locked it, right? So right before we're eating dinner, right? I was, start, I was starting to get the munchies, right? So I was like, dag, man, you know? I, you know, I want to eat shorties, you know? I want to eat shorties pussy, you know? I like, I like to munch on carpets, and I like to munch on the back door of a woman. I'm not going to in front on that shit, all right? I'm a freak. All right, I make no apologies for that. However, I do make an apology for trying to fucking get my munch on in one chick's back door. So what happened was, she was starting to take her clothes off and shit, right? Right at the kitchen and shit. I was pulling her shit off, pulling her shit down, right? Because, you know, when you got some Latino blood in your fucking genetics, man, you're going to be itching to get your freak on like mad. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be I be laughing like crazy when motherfucking they got prude ass Latinos who act like they don't like sex. I was like, motherfucker, you got some Moreno blood in your fucking system. You know damn well, man, you wanna get freaky ASAP, yo, with every type of shooter you see that you're attracted to. Anyway, without going off too much of a tangent, back to the story at hand. So she was taking her pants off, I was assisting her, right? So I started sucking on her thighs, her inner thighs, right? I don't know. I think I had a cold, right? So I didn't smell it right away. So I was starting to ascend up into her ass a bit, right? Something told me, look before you leap. I looked before I leaped. Son, I don't know what happened. I did some type of Keanu Reeves, some kind of Matrix shit. And I just jumped right the fuck back. I fell the fuck back, yo. When I saw fucking Rocky Gravel cereal just fucking... Son, I kid you not, man. It looked like, it looked like I was in Mexico in something, you know. And motherfucker, a lady was about to make a clay, a clay sculpture for me, man. That's what it looked like up her ass, yo. I couldn't believe I see mounds of shit caked up into an asshole, man. Right then and there, I'm sitting there like, oh snap! No, you did not. No, you did not. No, you did not. Yo, this girl was mad dark like Erica Alexander from In Living Single or something, right? So she was like blushing. You can see how red her grill was, right? So she went to the bathroom. She didn't say a word. She knew her shit was wrong, all right? Oh, my God, man. I, I wish I took this shit to Judge Judy or something. Speak the real. I have this up there as a nigga shit flick, man. I swear. Oh, my God. In any event... So she came back out mad and embarrassed. We sat down and ate dinner. I'm surprised I was even able to start, eat, and finish my dinner. I had to block that shit out of my mind. But in the back of my mind, it, it was still marinating. It, I, I couldn't believe it. And she didn't speak. I was trying to put on a, political, a, polit, a politically correct front by making facade conversation with her. Just trying to break her out of the embarrassment moment. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't even look at my. She couldn't even look at me in the face, man. She knew her shit was exactly right. I mean, exactly wrong. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Yo, I'm telling you, straight up nigga shit, man. I'm telling you, man. Straight up and down. <laughs>